Hello, this is your happy party and I have some really exciting news to tell you. I have just found out that my pilgrimage for 2011, my first pilgrimage of 2011 has already been fixed and ready for invitation. So I'd like to invite you to this pilgrimage, um, going to some very important pilgrimage sites in uh, the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, and it's a pilgrimage to Farima, Lourdes, and Santiago de Compostela and everything in between. Um, it is going to then be a pilgrimage to diff three different countries, Portugal, Spain, and France. This pilgrimage is on September 26th to October 6th of this year, 2011. So it's an 11-day pilgrimage, and I hope that uh, you'd consider going to this pilgrimage and journeying it with me. It is primarily a Marian pilgrimage. So um, uh, we will be flying uh, from Chicago into... Uh, Lisbon, Portugal, our point of entry into the European countries. And uh, we will be staying for one day in Lisbon, Portugal. And uh, f there we will be visiting the Hieronymus Monastery and all the other beautiful things that it could offer to us within that day just to have an awareness and familiarity of that wonderful port city, very important port city in southern the southern part of Portugal. From there we will be following the terrain uh, by the shore of Portugal and uh, the shoreland of Portugal will lead us to Santarem, a place of uh, the Eucharistic miracle that happened in that area. From Santarem, we will immediately proceed to the first important destination of the pilgrimage, which is in Farima. Farima is an important pilgrimage site because it is here where Mary appeared to the three children, and it is here where uh, she delivered messages to these three children, and particularly asking them and asking the world to pray for world peace. Uh, and so we will be doing a lot of devotions and uh, pilgrimage activities in this area, visiting the house of the two, three children, as well as the place of the pilgrimage uh, of the apparition of Mary and the apparition of the angel. Um, we will be joining some group um, uh, spiritual activities there, perhaps a procession of torchlight procession in the evening. So there will be a lot of wonderful things that we will be doing there um, in Farima, allowing us to immerse closely into deep, the deep mysteries of our faith. From there, um, we will be f still following the shoreline going north um, in Portugal, making a stop in two different places, uh, particularly um, Coimbra, which is a university town, uh, and it's also uh, known for uh, the the place of the monastery of St. Clair, which is also the resting place of the Queen St. Isabel, who is the patron saint of Portugal. So to ask for intercession for our own journey, uh, as she has blessed so many voyagers during her time. So um, we will be stopping there in Coimbra, and then from Coimbra we'll be going to Braga, stopping by in Braga uh, to visit also in Braga, the uh, uh, National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception of Portugal. Uh, and uh, in Mount on Mount Samero and the Shrine of the Good Jesus on Mount Espino. This uh, area I remember very clearly because it's so beautiful out there. Uh, all the topiary gardens that are so conducive to prayer. Uh, such an amazing place and up in the mountain overlooking the, the valley and it's a wonderful place to, to visit and um, to have enough time there just to soak in the beauty of Portugal. Um, and have enough time for prayer and celebrating the Eucharist there as well. Uh, so from there we'll be going north, uh, continue to, we will continue to go north, uh, probably making a stop in Oporto which is an important port city um, known for the famous port wine uh, of Portugal. So that will be a nice little respite uh, introduction to trade uh, in, in Portugal. And then we will cross over into Santiago de Compostela. Santiago, St. James, Compostela, the land of the stars. So, James from the land of the land of the star of the land of the stars. Beautiful um, medieval city. Uh, it has preserved the medieval flavor of the old town of Santiago. We will be visiting primarily the Basilica of St. James, where you will find the remains of St. James entombed there, as well as uh, the world famous Thurible. Thurible, the biggest Thurible in the world, swinging in the sanct in the in the nave of um, the the Basilica of uh, Saint James. Um, so from there, we'll be going down now toward the center of Spain, uh, making a stop in Salamanca, um, visiting um, 
the uh, sisters there, the, their nuns, their clustered, clustered nuns there that, that we will be visiting in Salamanca, and going down into two very special places that I love, um, namely Segovia, a national, uh, a national world uh, heritage of, for its aqueduct, but I want to go there primarily for, to visit the tomb of Saint John of the Cross, one of my favorite saints, as well as another world heritage place called Avila, the walled city of Avila, which is the place where Saint Teresa of Avila, my favorite, another favorite saint, uh, established the Discalced Carmelites. So that those are the two places we will stop on our way to Madrid, and we will be staying in Madrid for two days. In Madrid, we will uh, have some devotions to Our Lady of the Alameda, um, but also uh, in Spain, we will hopefully have a chance, we'll really have a chance actually, to um, immerse into the culture of Spain, um, having an opportunity to visit, to, to watch some flamenco dancing and tasting the delectable paella of Spain and uh, many others just being around that very wonderful city cosmopolitan city at this point the world youth day would be finished so we will not be seeing the world youth day but i'm sure that we will still be smelling and sensing the spirit of the world youth day that would have just taken place when we get there okay uh, perhaps a, a possible um, extra visit into toledo which is another medieval city beautiful city up in the hill um, very close to um, to madrid and then from Madrid, uh, we will start to go back up this way, uh, crossing into France. But before doing that, we will probably be stopping at in, in Zaragoza, making that stop at the Shrine of Our Lady of the Pillar, another miraculous um, pillar that is uh, known for some visits of pilgrims there. So we'll be going to through um, Zaragoza as we enter into the Pyrenees Mountains. It's a spectacular mountain with breathtaking views of terrains and, and curves and skies and trees and everything so beautiful around us. We move now from Spain into France, leading to the countryside of, of France, uh, exactly where um, our final destination will be, which is Lourdes. And Lourdes is also very popular. It is a, an amazing destination for pilgrims because Lourdes is the site where Mary, the Immaculate Conception, appeared to the young girl, young woman, uh, Bernadette Subirous. And so um, we will be spending some time there. It is known for healing and we will be doing some healing service in Lourdes, uh, going through the bath of Lourdes uh, that is known to have produced a lot of miracles. Um, we will also be visiting the house of Bernadette and doing some all many others uh, forms of devotion and prayer um, there including participating in the torchlight uh, procession it will be a wonderful trip for sure and uh, i know that the blessings along the way will be abundant and uh, i do hope that you will consider coming and joining me in this particular trip um, and uh, because it's my second trip, I'm sure that even for me, it's going to be a new, a brand new reawakening into these beautiful places of Mary and the Saints. Uh, the basic cost is 2699 All um, and you can you can always ask me about all the other conditions of the payments uh, but anyway for now um, I just hope that you're excited uh, about this trip and uh, God bless you and may Mary and the saints be always with you hallelujah God bless you